but today I have got another recipe video for you and I'm gonna teach you how to make baked oatmeal cups and we are making them in four different flavors. So similar to some of my other multiple flavored recipes, we're gonna start with a simple base and then I'm gonna show you how to make four different flavors using that base and I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way about things that you can swap in and out of the base to change it up. So basically there's a ton that you can do with these baked oatmeal cups. They are amazing for meal prep, great for breakfast, great for a snack, easy to make, school friendly if you have kids at home that are going to school, like you can make them nut free, etc. And they taste delicious. So I'm really excited to share today's video. If you are new around here and you enjoy videos like this, please click the red subscribe button that is right below this video. And if you do wanna follow along with the recipe, you can find that link down below. All right, so we're gonna kickstart things with the base and we're gonna start with our wet ingredients, which is almond milk, any type that you'd like, as well as maple syrup. You will also add in two flax eggs, which is how we're making these vegan, and then some almond butter. You could also use a nut or a seed butter, basically any type of butter you'd like. And then mashed banana. If you can't have banana, you could swap this with applesauce, pumpkin puree, or basically just any other fruit puree. Then you will take your wooden spoon and beat this together until it is combined. From there, you will add in your rolled oats as well as your baking powder and your sea salt. Fold this together and mix it all together until it is combined. And from here, you can basically just bake it up. This could just be your standard baked oatmeal cups. But if you wanna do flavors, let me show you four delicious ways to flavor it. Number one is going to be apple cinnamon. So we're gonna add chopped apples as well as our cinnamon. And you could also add in some chopped up walnuts if you wanted. Fold this together. And then once it is combined, you will add it into your muffin tin. Just fill the tins almost all the way full and then you will bake it up and these are what the final ones look like. Our next flavor is going to be almond cherry. So we have some chopped up cherries that we're gonna add in, followed by some almond extract and some vanilla extract. And again, just like the last one, fold it all together until it is combined. Then you will transfer it again into your muffin tin. And again, we're going to just fill this tin, but you're gonna bake it up until everything is golden brown and you'll be able to just enjoy. I topped mine with some coconut yogurt, a drizzle of almond butter, and a sliced cherry. Flavor number three is lemon blueberry. We're gonna add frozen wild blueberries. You can use any types of blueberries that you want, along with lemon zest. Fold this together. Once it is combined, again, add it into your baking pan. And again, if you're gonna make your whole batch lemon blueberry, bake it up until it is golden brown or do what I'm doing here and just fill it as you go. For serving the lemon blueberry, I love to do a dollop of coconut yogurt followed by a sprinkle of lemon zest and some fresh blueberries on top and dig in, it's so good. And our final flavor is going to be chocolate banana. We're just gonna add cocoa powder directly into this base because there's already banana in the base. And then you will fold it together, just mix it together until the chocolate is combined and your base is chocolatey. From there, again, transfer it into your muffin tin. And now you can see I have all four flavors in here. And what I like to do with the chocolate flavor is I just top it with a piece of sliced banana and just like kind of push it in a little bit. And so for the chocolate one, I love to do just peanut butter or just eat it plain because it's so good. And that's pretty much how you make baked oatmeal cups. So easy and so good. And there you have it, my friends. That is how to make baked oatmeal cups. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you wanna follow along with this recipe and see all of the specific ingredient measurements and all the flavor add-ins that we included, make sure to click the blog post link down in the description box. If you have any questions, the comment box is always open for you, so please ask away. We will be here to support you as you try to make your own creations of this recipe. 
And as you can see, just oatmeal cups are the greatest. They are so simple to make. They are awesome for meal prep. They will keep for at least a week in the fridge. Great to heat up in the toaster oven or the microwave. You can top them with like whatever you want. And it's essentially like a little oatmeal on the go, which is the best. So I hope you guys try it. I hope you give it a try. And if you are, like I said, new around here, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.